A rare and mysterious thunderstorm phenomenon occurred in Rich Valley, Alberta last week, and it was captured on camera by Global News watchers Ed and Melinda Party. This glowing blue ball of light is called ball lightning, and it appeared behind their home just moments after a very intense lightning strike occurred. It lasted for about 23 seconds before they heard a pop sound, and then the light quickly disappeared. Now, although blue, uh, ball lightning is very rare, there actually have been over 10,000 reports of these from around the world dating all the way back to the 12th century. Reports from pilots, sailors, scientists, and everyday people. But only a handful of them have actually been documented in a video this well. Ball lightning can range from size from grapefruit to basketball, sometimes even meters wide. And the light can vary from red to blue to orange or yellow. Uh, they are typically found sort of just above the ground and they sort of float or hover right above where the lightning actually, the lightning strike actually occurred. However, uh, there have been reports of these balls actually moving and sometimes even moving through windows and moving indoors. Ball lightning is not an optical phenomenon it is a re real thing and it's caused by intense thunderstorms but scientists are still trying to figure out the exact cause. Now there are several theories and one of the most widely accepted theories is that the lightning strike actually vaporizes silicone in the ground which is found in some soils and then the silicone reacts with oxygen in the air creating a glowing plasma ball just above the ground. There's another theory that suggests that the lightning ionizes particles in the air, like gases or water vapor, and then it creates this clump of ionized plasma, which glows and sort of hovers just above the ground. Now, although ball lightning has been partially replicated in laboratories, none of these recreations have actually matched all the properties that have been described by observers, like the ball moving or able to pass through windows. So Ed and Melinda are very lucky indeed to have been able to capture such a unique phenomenon in their backyard.